So today I am talking about one of my favorite subjects and that is eyeshadow palettes. If you have been with me any amount of time, you know that my love for eyeshadow palettes is a little bit scary. <laughs> I can get a little bit over enthusiastic when it comes to eyeshadow palettes. But I recently saw Emily Noel and a sweet little gal that I'll throw up her name right here and I can't remember, but I subscribed to her. They did a collab on their 10 favorite palettes for spring and that's what I'm gonna be bringing you today. But my picks as far as that's concerned. So if you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would please subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell so that you can be notified of any future videos I'm having. And please give this video a thumbs up if you do like seeing top videos or top favorite videos, that kind of thing. I know that right now we are all really, really tight on money. And please know that you don't have to go out and buy any of these. This is a lot of what I'm doing lately is a lot for entertainment purposes. It's to kind of show you maybe what you could go back into your collection and get. I have, I think only one palette in here that I have purchased this year. The other palettes are palettes that I've had for a long time, but they were just in my collection. So you probably have these colors that you can look at and go, oh, I love those and just be happy with them. So please know that I'm not encouraging anybody to, you have to go out and Get this i'm just showing you some really great beautiful springtime palettes so the first one on my list is from wet n wild and this is their color icon 32 pan eyeshadow palette if you love that color icon formula that's in the 10 pans or the four pans you're going to absolutely love this and they put together this gorgeous lineup of colors and i just was like for the price i think that this was like 15 dollars, but for that price you're getting such good quality. You're getting that great color icon quality and you're getting such a gamut of colors to be able to look at. So I have swatched several colors right here and they are so easy to blend out and they're very, very pigmented. But you now, know that when you put your brush into a product, it's so much different than just swatching it on your hand. And that's what I feel like the star is on each of these palettes is that you can put a brush in, you can blend it out. It's gonna look absolutely beautiful on your eyes. So this one had to definitely make it into a springtime lineup because of this whole color scheme. The colors in here are great, but you have this huge row of neutrals and other cool tone neutrals that you could go into too. And you don't have to just think, oh, okay, well, this is a color palette. It's not just a color palette. It has the neutrals that you can use as well. So versatile and so pretty. My next palette for spring is from Profusion and it is the Pe Festival palette. I got this last year when it very first came out and I am so impressed by the gamut of colors on this one as well and the springtime looking colors. You have the great pastel colors, but you also have a lot of depth in here. And you have, again, the two rows of your basic neutrals in here. And I did swatch quite a few here, and I'm not a good swatcher, so it kind of goes in a weird thing around my arm there. But I love this palette. Now, now I will say that you do have to work with these mattes a little bit more. They are ones that you do have to build up a little bit more with your brush, but the metallics in here are fantastic. And once you do use the mattes and you're building and you're you know just blending, they blend and they stay on so good. And I just think that this is a palette for the money for the money that is just outstanding. And I love working with this one. And as you can tell right here, this is my favorite shade right down here, which is, let's see if we can find it on my arm, which is this shade right here, which looks very unassuming on my hand, but that is the prettiest duochrome. This one's a duochrome as well. But this one is a pretty beautiful duochrome to put on your lid and I reach for it all the time. Now, so. Dominique Cosmetics is a brand that I have loved their shadow formula so much. This is their original latte palette. And the reason that I picked this to go in this lineup of spring colors is you do have so many in here that are very neutral and you can work with, but they're brighter neutral colors that go so well on so many different skin tones. And then you have a couple of little pops of color, but you guys, these metallics right here, they are just outstandingly beautiful. So you have mostly mattes in here, all this row right here, and these two colors are all mattes, and then you have your metallics up here simply beautiful and don't be afraid to mix and try different things together in here and even though latte kind of invokes you know warm weather and that kind of thing just think iced latte <laughs> here's the colors right here and the reason that i like it for spring is because there are times when you just want neutrals right i do have a couple palettes in here that are just about being neutrals 
But this one, when I was talking about earlier about the um, Sunkiss palette being all about the metallics, this one's all about the mattes. The mattes are just silky and blendable and pigmented and buttery, and they go so well on your eyes. When I and started to work with it, it's like, oh, this palette is just so beautiful. So Dominique Cosmetics, you really can't go wrong with her palettes, but that latte palette to me is something that's really special. I what would a palette roundup video be without having and Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. This is the Norvina palette. And this palette, when it first came out, I wasn't very excited about it because I thought there was gonna be more purples in it. But in working with it and just using it a lot, I was really loving it. So I did swatch it right here for you. This is springtime as far as, okay, I have a lot of pinks, I have a lot of purples to work with. I have this periwinkle blue to work with, which is just an outstanding color to work with. But this can transition into summer and fall if you want it to too. So it's a beautiful bright palette, but at the same time, you're gonna be able to reach in it do a whole entire look, not have to reach for another palette, which is what I love about it. And if you guys have ever had an Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, you know that the quality is superb. It is so good. And for and me, this is the one that when it's springtime, this is the one that's gonna go through the rotation. So just blendable and beautiful and gonna make some gorgeous looks for springtime. Lots of pinks and purples, like I said, and lots of neutrals that you can mix in with those. All right, so this part was hard for me because there are two palettes from ColourPop in this nine pan palettes that I love. One is from the Blue Moon and one is from the Lilac You A Lot. I guess if I was gonna pick from the two, it would be Lilac You A Lot. This is totally a spring palette and it has such a nice diverse pink scheme to it. So you're gonna be able to go and you're gonna be able to get mauves, you're gonna be able to get purples, you're gonna be able to get pinks, you're gonna be able to get all kinds of different things in here. And it is just, it's that gorgeous, you guys. It is that pigmented and that beautiful. And if you love purples, this is the one that I would go for. They do have the It's My Pleasure one, which is the actual purple one, which I do like, but because of my skin tone, I reach for these lighter colors most. And you can do just a look out of here. That's what I like about it too. So you don't have to reach for another palette if you don't want to, because you can deepen, you can go into like a transition color, which would be more along the lines of this mauve color right here. I just found that this palette is so versatile and so pretty. And the Blue Moon palette, it's just as pretty, but I don't reach for as many of these colors. Like I have just a couple of my very favorites and I'll just swatch those for you. I have used the whole thing before. And yes, it's gorgeous. I continue to use it. I think they're beautiful. But I guess if I was gonna pick from the two, it would be the Lilac. But if you guys have your eye on one of these nine pans that you think would be good for you, pull the trigger because they don't have the glitter in them that ColourPop has been doing in the past. They do have a lot of that Super Shock formula in some of them. I find that they are just next quality, so beautiful. The Gone Coconut, the Going Coconuts one, I think it's Going Coconuts, is an extremely gorgeous neutral one. So if you're wondering about just wanting a neutral one, that one is beautiful too. But these two for springtime were like, yeah, I kinda had to say a whole purple palette somewhere in this lineup. Okay, next in the lineup is a palette that I picked as my number one palette a few years, about, a few years back when I did my ranking. And have you ever just gotten caught up in new releases and you're trying new things and you forget about palettes that you have and then you go back and you go, why did I ever leave you? <laughs> this is this palette right here and it's the new nudes from Huda Beauty. Now, I have had several palettes from Huda Beauty in the past and I've loved them, but recently I have just completely fallen in love again with this palette. And the color scheme on it is of course, you know, very berry, mauve-y, um, there is some neutral tones in here, but it is a very mauve neutral palette, that kind of thing with the berry colors thrown in there and a lot of beautiful metallics. Now, I will say that the metallics are not for me what draws me to this palette. What draws me to it is the variation very slightly across the pinks, the mauves and the nude colors. And that's what I love about it. Now they do have the two glitters in here. Not crazy about that. I could easily take those out and not even think about them again because I don't wear glitters, but overall this palette is fantastic. They also give you this really creamy base color right here. So basically it's almost like a concealer that you can put on your lids and then have anything stick to them. And I'm sure that's what they were thinking 
with the um, glitter colors, but I use them for the mattes and they work out so pretty. This, I had to put this in here because of the blendability and how this makes me feel about spring. I just feel like grabbing it every single day and wearing a little variation of it every day and having it look like my eyes are bright and lit up. And I think that that is something that's really beautiful. This next palette I've had my eye on ever since it came out, but I honestly just felt like I couldn't pull the trigger on the amount that it was. But I love eyeshadow palettes so much that my husband actually treated me to it. It is from Sydney Grace, and this is the Enduring Love Palette. And you guys, this was so worth the money. I talk about drugstore palettes all the time. I talk about drugstore makeup and how much I love it, and I do. And I think the LA Girl palettes are next level. But this is something very, very special as far as her formula goes. I don't think that in a long, long time I have seen anything quite as beautiful as the way this works out. This beats out Anastasi Beverly Hills. It beats out just about any palette that I have ever used as far as the quality of all of them goes. She but does a specific formula in here that is outstanding. And they also have another palette and then they have other singles. And I am about ready to invest in singles and I haven't invested in singles for five years because I felt like I didn't give them enough love, but I'm about ready to make my own palette of these because they are that special. Now, I did contact Sydney Grace and ask them if I could get a discount code for you guys. I don't remember how much off it is. It isn't very much, but it is going to be a discount code below for you guys if you're interested in this. I don't make any money off of it. I asked her specifically, I don't wanna make any money off of it. I don't want it to be an affiliate code. I just simply want to pass on a discount to the people that I love on my channel. And so that's what she gave me is a little bit off. And I'm so thankful that she did that. It and is one of those palettes that I can go in and make the most simple look, but I can just bump this up and make it be so bright and so beautiful with any of these shimmer colors in here. And then these colors that are the deeper colors, they can be kind of blended out and washed out so that they're just a soft brush of color. And that's really why I picked it to show you guys is that the quality is beyond anything I've tried, but also the color scheme is beautiful. There is a light palette and there's a dark palette. This one is the light. And when you get to the dark one, it has more along the lines of these neutral colors get a little deeper and they get a little warmer. So it's just gorgeous, you guys. I think it's one of those that you just will really be impressed with if you're an eyeshadow palette lover and if you don't mind spending a little bit more money. I one of my all-time favorite palettes for any season, it doesn't matter what it is, is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sultry Palette. But it's not one that she has in her lineup anymore. It's discontinued. But you can get one that I like better. And it is from Alter Ego and it is the Temptress Palette. And the reason that this palette made it into my spring lineup is it never gets put away. I mean, there's some palettes that I will put away for like the summer, they're way too warm, you know, they've got too much autumn colors in them. Or in the, in the winter, I put them away because they've got too bright of colors in it, this palette never gets put away. I can just make this palette into the brightest look. I can make it into the most neutral look. I can make it cool, warm, whatever. It is one of those palettes that is quality wise, the blendability is fantastic. It doesn't matter whether we're looking at mattes or shimmers. And it is also so easy to go from one color to the next and put colors together and just have a gorgeous look. And I just feel like for the price on this one, you can't go wrong. It is one that I have loved and just continue to love. And I'm about to hit pan on a couple of different colors, but this is such a gorgeous, gorgeous palette. And I feel like they hit it out of the park as far as duping that. All right, we're down to the last two, you guys. I have been raving about for the longest time, the LA Girl 16 pan palettes that come in these plastic, um, packaging and I you guys first of all the packaging is great they did such a good job on the packaging it's heavy duty it's going to go in your you know if you're traveling it's going to be able to go in there it has a gargantuan mirror the mirror is this size so it's as big as my head so <laughs> the mirror is huge it's not distorting it's beautiful but these shadows, you guys, oh my living lands. They're just gorgeous. I cannot begin to tell you how amazing quality these 
shadows are for drugstore. I am so blown away. I have all six of them. And I started to collect them, not last year, but the year before when they very first started to come out. And I believe that this one, which is um, Aloha Vibes, this is the hot heat ones. This one was one of the first ones to come out and I have not put it down since. And it is what I have on my eyes today. If you guys were wondering what I do have on my eyes, that's what's on my eyes today. And I just love, love, love working with this. And they're right here. And you guys, they just perform so well. If you look at the LA Girl website or if you happen to be, I think they sell them at CVS. I know that they sell two now at Ulta and I saw some at Target the other day. So if you happen to be in any of those places and you look and you see them and you're thinking you're like on the fence whether or not they're gonna be any good, they are good. They're really, really, really good. And I just find that as far as them being ones that are from the drugstore and they're also pigmented, blendable, work really well on my mature eyes, don't show up a bunch of texture. They're just so beautiful. So let me show you what I have on my eyes today. And it is this color as a transition color, which is that rosy uh, neutral color. Then to darken up the outer part, I have the brown. Then I went in with this pink right there. And then I just kind of did a little bit of this color right here over in the middle of my eyelid. And you guys, so beautiful. Oh, I also did this dark purple on the bottom just out outside right here as my liner. They're just, they're that pretty and they go together so well and you can make so many different looks out of them. And if you're somebody that loves shimmer, but you feel like you get too much texture from it, give these a try because I just think that they're just something really, really special. And as far as springtime goes, I mean, can we get any more spring than those colors that are just so bright and popping? I just think they're so pretty. My number one palette that I would pick for spring goes back to probably one of the very first palettes that I ever bought, and it is the Magic Palette by Juvia's Place. Now, they don't even sell this size anymore, this big one. They sell it in a mini now, and it is well worth it. But what is inside of here is absolutely stunning. First of all, you guys, this African artwork that she has on each of her palettes, they're so gorgeous. I just, that artwork is just next level beautiful. And then, the actual formula of Juvia's Place. If you have never tried, and you are somebody that loves color, but you don't wanna spend it on a high-end palette or whatever, please try Juvia's Place. And the Magic Palette is a great place to start. And bam, you guys, look at it. It is just, I can't even describe how quickly I fell in love with this palette. This color right here is the one that I use the most, and it is obviously that kind of a, a lilac blue purple right there. It's a duochrome. It shifts between blue and, and lavender, and it's so pretty. And then there is a, like a silver color over here that I use constantly. The pink colors are fantastic. The greens, I can't say enough good about this palette. As far um, as I'm concerned, even to just get these other colors to be a secondary palette, it's still my number one palette because of how saturated, how beautiful, how, how blendable this palette is. And the colors are just, they're so pretty. If you have a deeper skin tone, there's nothing like Juvia's Place palettes for you. But if you're somebody that is lighter and you can still buff them out for them to be light. And that is because of their quality. The quality of them is so rich and buttery and easily blended. And so a little tiny bit goes a long I way. I would so definitely say if you're somebody that hasn't tried Juvia's Place before, you might really like this and you might give it a try. Because honestly, you guys, there's nothing like a Juvia's Place palette as far as their pigmentation. So that was it. That was my number one. And I hope that you did enjoy this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Tell me in the comment section what your favorite palette is for spring, what you've been reaching for this spring. I always and love to interact with you guys. You know that. So I'd love to hear that in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for spending a bit of your day with me. Please stay safe, stay sanitized, stay healthy. I love you very much. And I will see you all in my next video. Take care of yourselves. Bye.